So one quick thing before we begin. Uh, this setup is not guaranteed to um, automatically kill Draken Lords or Siege Rollers. If I wanted to um, automatically kill those, I'd probably have to set up um, some kind of Tenacity Reflect Beam or something, and I don't want to use uh, Tenacity in this build, so yeah. Um, what I'm using is uh, PDT, Earth Shatter, and Flame Aura. Um, yeah, I took off defend, uh, Deadly Strikes so I can place Flame Aura's closer together, but yep. This is what I've got on my Flame Aura. I'm using um, random C5 Relics um, to sort of balance out the fact that I have uh, Gilded Shards and a bit of Ascension. Um, it's still... It, this is still technically weaker than a C7 Relic, I think, but... Like, this, the, the whole thing put together is still weaker than, like, some kind of C7 defense, but yeah. So I'm using Flame Aura, Poison Dart Tower, and uh, Earth Shatter. Uh, for this lane, you can place things inside the wall. Uh, as long as they're fully inside the wall, they're not going to be frozen. You don't want it to be, you know, halfway outside of the wall. And then right here, you've got this... Uh, this spot right here and this spot right here. You want to place your tower a little high up. If you place it too low, then uh, it could get frozen. This tower here is a bait tower. Um, the Cobalts will target the PDT here and they'll just dive into this brazier here. And you'll see what I mean later. And uh, right here along the right edge of this wall, um, you can place auras, towers, whatever. Um, I think it's around like this line right here. To the right of it, you can place anything. It won't. It will not be frozen. And for this lane, I've got two flame auras up here. This is a spot that I found really recently. It's really nice against um, the cobalts that will be coming out eventually on this lane. And on this lane, on this tip right here, you can put a flame aura. Um, sometimes I put a sky guard on this spot right here. This is, like, this spot sp specifically cannot get frozen. If you put it any further down, it's going to get frozen. And then on this rock, anything on top of this rock is, is, uh, not going to get frozen. Um, and then there's a spot on the tip of this spike here, which also works. And then for these two lanes, um... You can put things right here. This is an unfreezable spot right here. And I think if you put it anywhere on top, it's not going to work. But this right here. And also this right here. And you can also put something on top of this spike. I am going to be putting an Earth Shatter on top of this spike uh, on Wave 2. And then on this tree, um, I think anywhere above this branch right here. Uh, you're free to place defenses. And then this lane is quite, uh, it's quite nice because any, anything beyond this rock right here, you can, uh, any, anything beyond this rock is not going to get frozen. So anything here is fine. And then on this lane, um, I think it's about here, beyond this little pebble here, uh, your stuff's not going to get frozen. I could put a lightning strike down, but I don't have that built, so yeah. That's pretty much it. So actually, that wasn't it. I forgot two spots, so here they are. Um, on this one, you just want to put them on the tip of the spikes, and on this other one, you just want to put your towers on the tip of the broken arches. And there's one last spot here that I didn't use because I don't think it's particularly useful, but you can put something up here. Uh, the only reasonable defenses I would put up here are probably fissures or some sort of tower, but if you use a tower, it's probably going to, to get dive bombed. Um, so it's not that useful in most cases, but you might be able to find a use for it at some point. And you can see right here, the... Cobalts are just going to dive into that. This is not an unfreezable spot. This is going to get frozen eventually. But it's still going to keep baiting the Cobalts. Um, for, if you, if you want to...
talk about if we want to talk about uh, ideal mods. Probably for farming this, uh, you'd want melee boom or gobu boom on the PDT maybe. Um, Shatter quake on the earth shatter would be really nice. That can proc uh, frostfire remnants sometimes. Um, and then yeah, pretty much melee boom on everything if you can if you want to. Not necessary at all, as you can see, but, uh, yeah. Melee Boom de definitely helps. Oh, and, uh, the reason why I place these flame wars so close to the wall here is sometimes kobolds get stuck inside the spawn, so that helps to, um, kill those stuck mobs. So now it's wave 2, just to finish off this build, I'm going to put Earth Shatter here. And get up. Earth Shatter right here. And I'm not even going to upgrade anything, um, I think I'll just cut to wave 5 here. So we're now on now on wave five. Um, I haven't upgraded anything at all. If you do want to upgrade something, um, probably upgrade the PDTs and the Earth Shatters equally, and then probably if your flame war is not strong enough, you might want to upgrade this one. Um, but yeah, I got pretty lucky. I didn't get any um, any siege rollers or Draken lords so far. So I have not had to do anything at all. I have not had to kill anything, and yeah, it's this is held up really well. And as wave five plays out, I just want to add that if you want to see the full build process and all the other waves that I skipped through, uh, I will have a video of the full run linked in the description. And that's Wave 5 complete, so yeah, that is an AFK C7 Dracenfrost Keep build without any tenacity with C5 relics. Um, it's This is gonna... Some, something's almost leaked at the end there, but it, if you have C7 relics, it's gonna be no problem. Um, and if you have some um, melee boom mods or something, it's gonna be even less of a problem. So yeah, all you really have to do is kill this Draken Lord at the end. Once he's dead, and this is done. So yeah, it's really not that difficult if you know um, where to place your defenses. Just make use of these nice uh, unfreezable spots, and I think you'll be good to go. Obviously, if you have a tenacity set up, it's going to be much faster than this. It's going to be much faster to build, but uh, yeah, even if you don't have tenacity, you can um, do this map without having to light any of these braziers. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, maybe I'll see you next time.